So the major network connections team deals with high voltage connection customers. So that means connecting at 11 kV, 22 uh, sub-transmission high voltage levels, 66 and 132 kV as well. Uh, and what you'll see typically for connecting in that space is mines, the bigger mines, which typically have loads measured in megawatts. Uh, then you've got the renewable connection area, which is flourishing at the moment. In the chapter five space, which means they need to interact with AMO and have registration as a participant. We've got at any given time, probably four or five serious connections in that space. And they're things like large wind farms in excess of 100 megawatts. We've got a number of solar connections, which are like 100 megawatts or greater. So that's sort of typically the sweet spot for solar connections in our network, 100 megawatts connecting at 132 kV. Essential Energy has a very diverse and large network which sits across the bulk of the state. So you can go and pick a spot that might look great because there's lots and lots of flat land toward a solar farm but it may well be five or 10 kilometres away from the zone substation being the source, which makes it very, very difficult to get the power back in and you're battling with smaller conductors. Lots of opportunities though. We've got plenty of areas in our network that do have lots of capacity for, for solar connections. In the first instance, it's always best for you to go away and do your own due diligence. When we're connecting customers, we try to be fair and reasonable. What we do have is the network information portal. We also have our distribution annual planning report, which are documents and information that's available online that customers can go and source. We do try to direct them to that so they can make their own assessment and judgment. And ultimately we have the NER requirements for providing preliminary information and detailed information by way of an application. In the next five or 10 years, I see customer connections changing by way of our network, changing holistically as well. So at the moment, we're very reliant on sub-transmission from the transmission network service provider supplying our network infrastructure. But we're already starting to see, with generation in the distribution network, you become less and less reliant on the sub-transmission network. Solar is going to continue to infiltrate the network, but there's obviously going to be a point where we have more generation than we have load. So that'll be an interesting space because then you're going to see this competitiveness. I definitely see battery energy storage systems playing a large part into the future. We're starting to see that already within the 4.9 megawatt systems, they, they call it terming them hybrids. So what that effectively does is they can charge for the day and providing they've got enough solar capacity, they can top their batteries up and then you can output generation into the network at night as well. The state government is really trying to ramp up renewable energy as, as the way of the future. It's really good for the electricity industry actually. So if you want to be involved in your electrical engineer, it's really about the modelling of um, renewable generation. That's where I see the skill set and it's really, really hard to find that at the moment. For me specifically, working at Essential Energy and the connection space, is, it's, it's exciting times. So the renewable energy zones that are coming on board, I mean, you're talking gigawatts of renewable energy production out of these things. So it really is an exciting time for the industry uh, and people want to be involved. We're trying to retire coal-fired power stations and we're trying to power the network with renewable energy sources. So now's the time to be in the industry. I mean, over the next 10 to 15 years, there's going to be some massive changes and I think it's going to be really exciting to be involved in that and see it evolve into what the network looks like of the future.